Hello there, this is Space Runner 5, and welcome to round one of the uh, cards open uh, tournament. And it looks like we are going to go first. Our player, our opponent is also playing a US German deck, uh, which is kind of funny that I don't have any Germans in my opening hand. Don't necessarily need the Sherman at the point, or at the opening. I'd rather probably prefer have that later. Uh, actually, we'll keep them in hand just for additional card draw. Let's go ahead and get rid of these two, because they're not going to be useful early on. Do have a very good combo for uh, round three. We'll go ahead and just end our turn. Give a uh, good luck, have fun. And we'll see what our opponent does. He is also doing nothing. Expression, that'll be nice for when they have something on the back. Let's go ahead and drop down our howitzer. Next turn, it'll be a 2-4 once we drop down our 17th Infantry. So it'll be able to clear out a lot of things for the most part. Hmm. 3-6. Extra credit, sure. It's totally fine. Looks like he has a ramp deck style, which I'm totally okay with. This also is a good combo for next turn, get a 3-3 on the front line. Go ahead and deal 10% damage to the HQ. This would also give us a lead up to the Sherman for turn uh, turn 5. So 1 drop, move 1, 3, we'd have an extra credit. 2-6 with guard. Yeah, totally fine. Get our 3-3 three, three now on the field. Gain additional three cards. He is going to have to throw one away. Nope, he just went up to eight. I was hoping he was going to go over nine. Can't hit the HQ, but we can still attack it with the artillery. However, I'm more inclined to get rid of the unit with guard. Just because I know... Actually, he's... Yeah, with Britain, they cannot... He could have made that a 6-6 six, six, uh, using a guard. And by using the howitzer, we'll go ahead and get rid of guards. So we can actually hit with a 3-3 three, three on the HQ, which is more important. Go and do some damage, totally okay. Well, giant combo, additional card, that's great for him. We need to go ahead and start getting the front line. And we need another US unit that we don't have at the moment. 2-2 two, two with smoke screen. When you draw a card, your HQ gains one defense. Pretty good card, honestly. Hmm, smoke screen can't do anything about that. It could get rid of the 2-1. Give our HQ smoke screen. It's all right. Pop down our three six because he's a heavy hitter. And we'll go ahead and keep this this unit alive. Um, he really doesn't do much for uh, our opponent at the meantime, unless he can fully heal it, in which case it'd just be a two six again. And he's going to continue to heal one per turn because of this guy because he's drawing. He's almost halfway through his deck already. 4 through with Ambush, deal 2 damage to target and the enemy support line. That one hurts a little bit, um, but overall it's not too bad. Could trade. Very possible. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and trade here. Works for me. Continue to eat that slot. And I want the Sherman down, but I want, I want a unit in the front line. Our HQ does not need... Uh, smoke screen at the moment. Rather, go ahead and take the front line for the most part. Kind of hem them in into only being able to put down two additional cards in the back line. Haven't seen any American cards yet out of this player yet. Oh no, we, we did see a couple right there. And uh, the Awoke Giant additional card draw. This is very much a sustain and draw, which I, I definitely like this play style that he has on this deck. Hmm. I'm expecting something big here. Well, that's still only a 2 2. We'll go ahead and take the front. Choose randomly and use unit to add to your hand. Well, I'm going to take the front. 
definitely want the uh, fourth regiment down. So you guys can't do anything. We're just going to hit the HQ. You need to take the front because you'll have to trade a lot of units because otherwise you can't throw anything down. Although a cup of tea would be very great. He's getting three HP per turn. It's totally fine. Lose another guy. Because I can actually can't target these. But he would have to throw almost everything away just to get through this guy. Pretty likely here. Although his HQ does lose guard then. 3-5. Target any must retreat. Okay, but it is a bomber that is going to be destroyed. Oh, you're a fighter, actually. Huh. Well. You're going away anyways. Very expensive. We do want our regiment out. I think it's time we go ahead and develop our Stug as well. You can trade one unit away for this guy, and you can actually rush down our Howitzer at the moment. I think the most part this game ends by him decking himself. Because I'm assuming he has a lot more card draw with these guys on the field. And by moving the 7th Regiment forward, uh, we're going to get a lot of card draw, three cards actually. Very nice. Two six with guard, yeah. Two four. When long time attacks, distribute three damage between enemy or between random enemies. That's a pretty good card. By doing this, we'd get rid of the guard. So the stud could go up here and hit it. I don't think that's the greatest. Let's go ahead and drop our Sherman for additional card draw. There you go, additional howitzers. Very nice. The stug would still live. Attacking the artillery. Because he's not going to get double damage. What we could do, though, is suppression minus three attack on everything. I want to do that. Give us a free round. Go ahead and hit that artillery. So attacking with this artillery piece, um, it'll still go ahead and distribute the three damage, but means we get a free turn basically just to uh, distribute damage, which will be very nice. Or by gain two additional credit slots and draw an additional card at the beginning of next turn. That's pretty good for next turn. Death from above. There goes our Sherman. Okay, another death from above. The artillery is gone though, which is very important. Drop down another howitzer. Do you want another howitzer? Maybe we'll go ahead and continue to uh, advance the front line a bit. Death from above isn't super applicable here, uh, since most of his units are pretty weak. I think next turn we're going to set up for a sweeping action. Let's go ahead and drop down another howitzer. Can't drop down the wildcat anymore. Let's go ahead and move the stug up. Yeah, we can go ahead and do this two damage. He can decide to do another attack and we'll kill it with the uh, howitzer. That should be fine. Yep, you can keep boosting your HQ, that's fine. Eventually we'll whittle it down. Because any of his big monsters, we have death from above. Should be okay. 3-6 for additional card draw. We do have, we can do it for additional 3 defense on all of these guys. So it would be very good for a pre-sweep action. We do have the F40, F4F in case he has any bombers, because I know Britain has lots of those. Eight. Guy's very scary. 
While on the front line, your HQ cannot be reduced to one defense. Below one defense, pretty good. Now we need to start sweeping this line. Get rid of those two. Or we can roll the dice on the death from above. Which is also something we could do. Which I think we're going to have to. Go ahead and deploy the Mitchell. Deal three damage. There goes one of them. So we have a 50% chance of getting rid of this 8-8. Eight eight, which I think, I think we can take that. We... Fantastic. Oof, that was... That could have made or made the game right there. <laughs> Oof. HQ gains 7 defense. Deal 3 damage to all targets in the enemy support line. That hurts a little bit. We do lose one of our howitzers. Uh, but we are going to do our... Uh, we can do it this turn. Go ahead and regain 3 HP on everything and our HQ. The M7 Priest is very nice, actually. Replace our Hauser that we just lost. And let's go ahead and hit for uh, 4 damage on the HQ. We can, Our entire job now is to whittle away now. It's going to take a long time since he does have a very built-up HQ. And it's going to continue for quite some time. 1-4 with Guard. Deployment orders in enemy's hands cost 2 more. Unfortunately, I don't have any orders. The 4 5 fighter is a bit tedious, however, it is. Oop, deal 3 damage to attacking unit. If the unit is air unit destroyed instead. Wow. Well, I wish I had not gone with this guy first. But that's okay. I'm going to trade. Get rid of that fighter. We did lose our howitzer, which was an important key part of our plan. We can actually bomb this guy, so he's no longer an issue. March on forward, get an additional card draw, and then we'll drop down the pack, I believe. Yeah, we'll drop down the pack for another artillery. Does triple damage against tanks, so it can be very potent. Still gaining HP. And we do have the panzers, so we can do a multi-sweep. So we should have probably one or two turns just to hit the HQ. And we'll still be hitting card draw. I've never seen an HQ get over to 40, like to 40 HP. It's kind of funny doing fighting a sustained deck. Ooh, a 5-5 armor. Deploy destroy a random enemy unit. That's awful. What is this? Smoke screen. Damage dealt to your HQ is reduced to one. Okay, that's that's a little annoying. I do want this guy gone. His smoke screen, so I can't do anything about that. Just can't do anything. Hmm. I don't really want to force the bomber off or have the bomber do anything for the most part. Go and do a death or above. Got rid of that guy, so we can still hit the HQ. And this bomber is gone. Let's go ahead and drop down our Wildcat. Could do one damage to the HQ, but I'd rather have the Wildcat for next turn for doing additional damage. We'll go ahead and end our turn. He's still gaining HP. Covered in three damage to everyone on the support line. Oh, all enemies. Yeah, that hurts. There goes two of our units. Death from above, so we just have our bomber now. Do have our 5 5 with smoke screen now. I'm gonna bomb the HQ. And we'll develop a panzer. Get off the board. Go ahead and end our turn. This is a very strange game. Two six with guard, sure. And a five five. What are you gonna destroy? R five five. Okay. Well, 
You are guarded, so I can't do anything about that. However, I can force you off the board. Drive forward. I can hit you. You're going to be able to bomb once. But I'd rather the 7th Regiment come down. Let's go ahead and do the 4 damage. B-17s are pretty uh, potent, but they are a 9 cost unit, so... That is basically your entire turn. We do have a bit of card draw in hand still, which is great. I know he has one tank with smokescreen. The 2-2 two -two to gain additional cards. Or additional HP on the HQ. He's going to go after my bomber. 4-4. Four four. Destroy a random unit with five or, 5 or more defense. Oof. Yeah, that makes sense. 5-5 five, five with smoke screen. I think we'll go ahead and get rid of your bomber. Seventh regiment, or marine regiment. Next turn we'll get our two cards. He's probably going to attack our bomber with his fighter. He actually drove forward to hit the bomber. Destroy two random. En wow, that's a great card too. All right, well we got a Sherman. Six four. So he'll probably trade his his fighter for ours. We'll go ahead and drop down a Sherman. So he's gonna have nine credits. Two six with guard, sure. Now he has to make the choice of destroying our fighter or Sherman. Ooh, four four. Destroy a random destruction. Destroy a random enemy unit. Okay. Well, we do get our Sherman for card draw. Oh, and the Stuka is fantastic here. I'm gonna try and bait him to. Uh... He's gonna destroy and then destroy another guy. The Stuka is a win condition at this point, because if he can't play any cards, or if he has one hand card in hand, can't really do much. Hmm. Definitely don't want to play the Stuka yet. Let's go ahead and do two damage, or nearly get rid of this guard unit. Pop down another unit. Go ahead and make this a 5-5, five five, uh, just so that way he'll probably stream into the Sherman. Uh, just so that way his fighter will get destroyed. Gain addition two credits and draw an additional card at the beginning of next turn. Sure. We do have additional card draw for ourselves. But we are very close to being out of cards ourselves. Because hmm. having a bomber on the field at this point is very... Interesting. He'll trade, that's fine. Drive the Sherman forward. And a howitzer, and fully repair a unit. Definitely need the howitzer down. We're at 6-6. Six, six. Let's go ahead and do this. See what he destroys. It does get rid of the howitzer, which is a little sad, but that's okay. He gets two cards this turn. So he's down to four, to our six. <laughs> Additional card. Sure. 
I'll let me use the front line retreat. Add two four fours. But we will fully repair the Sherman. We can trade. Go ahead and put down our Stuka to force him to throw away cards. The future. I actually don't want to draw any more cards because we're that close. He only has two. Deal three damage to all enemies. Everything's gone. He has a 4-4. Four, four. An awoke giant isn't going to help us. That'll help us though. Get off the field. And we'll go ahead and end our turn. He has two more turns and we have three. I can't use the awoke giant because I can accidentally deck myself. Earth 4 4. Oh, and we finally drew our tiger. Go ahead and do that. And drop down the tiger. The big beefy boy's on the field now. Took us forever to draw him. And now we just gotta survive this turn. 4 4. You do get to destroy a random enemy, which is very nice. Go ahead and heal our 5-5. Five five. Get you there. Drive the half-track forward. Go ahead and just end our turn. Oh, interesting. You can actually just go through all of your cards. I didn't know that. Cool. And that is the game. Well, I will see you guys in game two of uh, the first round. I'll talk to you guys soon. Alrighty, welcome to game two. Um, we will be playing, so I'm playing against the same uh, player as last time. Ooh, we do not want to keep calm. We do have lots of card draw, which is very nice for us, actually. Let's go ahead and get rid of both of those two cards. Uh, we are playing the same opponent, it is the best of three. Ooh, that was not a good draw for us, honestly. Lots of card draw for us, though, so we can we can do a little bit of ramping, but not a ton. We are playing... Ooh, a 0-4. Gain two crits for an enemy unit destroys... A friendly unit destroys a unit during your turn. Pretty nice, actually. I'll go ahead and just end our turn. I have no way of getting rid of that, because it has smoke screen. Uh, I don't think I have very much card removal in this deck, actually. It's more of sustaining as long as possible. Uh, this is our anti-rush deck. 2-2 two, two with Blitz. Becomes 0, so you can do 2 damage to our HQ. Totally fine. 2-3. Artillery piece. Uh, we're definitely going to want to put them on the field very soon. This is part of one of our win conditions, of basically just getting a, a Churchill or any unit with guard just super beefed up and then just swapping the defense to uh, attack damage and just basically doing one big sweep. One, two with Blitz. This looks like a German rush deck actually. 100% a German rush deck. Jason units have plus one attack. Hmm. We definitely need a guard unit at this point. So down our Panzer. There's a Churchill, which we'll be playing next turn for sure, because he will be able to protect us. And we'll go ahead and just end our turn. We're going to take another 3 damage, at least. One, two with Blitz again. Alright, so we're going to take 3, 5 damage. Unless it goes right in the middle, in which case it'll be 6. Well, actually... Three, yeah, it'll be six. That would use up all of his credits that he has right now at the moment. And the Churchill can attack everything on the field without taking any damage because it has heavy armor. Well, it's only heavy armor one, so be this guy that would still be doing damage. 
there we go. Go ahead and give us that damage. Our HQ is very low already. Pin all enemies. Draw card. Probably wait until next turn for that. Churchill is guarding us now. Hopefully he doesn't have anything that forces us out. Otherwise, uh, Monty would have been better. Oh, is he gonna... Yeah. Yeah, that is a GG. That was very quick. Well, fortunately, it is a best of three, so you can't use that deck again. So we'll go ahead and jump into game three. Alrighty, so we are going to be playing against our opponent's first first round deck at the very beginning of the episode versus our deck that we just got annihilated in. Um, the anti-Russian deck did not anti-rush as I was hoping. <laughs> Didn't quite get there. Uh, we definitely don't need you in our hand at the moment. We'll keep the plus two defense. Have a three drop. Go ahead and just end our turn. Zero four. Damage dealt to your HQ is reduced by one. Sure. You can stay for a while. Looks like we all have pretty expensive hands for the most part. Go ahead and drop down the Baluch Regiment for additional 2 8 defense on our HQ. Plus 7 defense for him. We are both playing very defensive decks, so uh, I'm, I will not be surprised if we go through everyone's deck. There's a lot of card draw, both of them, and a lot of beefing up the HQ. Keep calm and drink your tea. Go ahead and do two damage to the HQ. This is one of our win conditions. We stack them up, uh, much like the Churchill, um, though they have a much higher base damage. Target must retreat. Sure. There they are. I was like, where'd they go? <laughs> they were lost. Do I want to do the damage? Now let's hit the HQ. I'll let him swing into us and we can sweep next turn. Hmm. More bonds, additional credits, and card draw, which is very nice. Plop down that Churchill. Make sure the HQ stays guarded. This time now it's guarded by a Churchill, so it'll it'll have a little bit more sustain. Be able to do a pretty big swing into the HQ next turn if he doesn't get a guard unit. Can't draw any more cards, otherwise they just get thrown out. It's a nice card. Get an elite unit. Death from above. Takes out the 1-5. Perfect. That's definitely the one we wanted to lose. Pin all enemies. Does that remove guard, though? Another 1-5 with guard. Let's go ahead and give everything plus 2 defense. Go 
Do we want to give plus two defense, or I'd rather actually just do damage. Get rid of the guard unit. Yeah, Panzer can't go for it, that's fine. Have you guys gained two defense? Yeah. It's worth it. <clears throat> Starting beefing up that Churchill. Definitely need to think about moving them, moving it to the front line so it can't just get pushed off the board, though. Fortunately, the Churchill didn't get shoved off the board. A bunch of 3-3s three are not that big of a deal. Do you get a, to add additional 2 to two defense to our HQ because they got pushed back in our, in our hand? Ambush, triple damage to tanks. That would be very nice. Go and hit there. I don't think we need our tank for the most part. Nah. This guy can go and hit as well. Play a 5 cost unit. Another Churchill. Could think about that. Add 2 defense. How many cards do we have? 6. Go ahead and do a convoy. Draw additional 2 cards. There is one of our win condition. Change the attack on target to equal to be its defense. That'd be a 10-10 Churchill. And we already have seen one death from above, so. Keep the 5-5 five five defending our HQ, probably. Churchill, you can go forward. Four, five. So we'll have five credits left. Probably be the pack. And probably the Belouche Regiment, just to beef up our HQ a little bit. Four, three, deal two damage to target enemy. You do have ambush, which is very annoying, actually. Two, two, a smoke screen. That's fine, you can sit there. will just get destroyed. Let me just pin everything. Got an additional convoy. Yep, he'll die, that's fine. Beef up this guy, so he will... Oop. You don't... Oh, he doesn't have guard? I thought he did. Hmm. The Churchill will be able to withstand it. It'll support. This Churchill is going to be a beast now. Everything's pinned, so as long as they don't shove everything off. Additional three cards. And a 1 5. I'm going to end our turn. That was very close. Hitting the timer. Can only deploy one unit. 4-4. Four, four. Destroy a random enemy unit with five or more defense. Oh, that hurts. There goes the Churchill. Yeah, that'll do it. Plus one defense on the front line. I think we do need another Churchill, just to guard our HQ a little bit more. You have any additional defense means you can hit this guy. Get rid of him. We can get rid of the 4-4. And it's a bomber. Yeah, get rid of him. Defense. He did survive. That's more importantly. I think we do want the artillery here. Or we get everything plus 2 defense. Let's go ahead and do that. You will not survive that, uh... The 
air f the fire damage, but that's okay. Or bomb all target enemies, lose three. We're only going to lose two units, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Woke giant, yeah, conditional card draw. Extra credit slot. Drive the Sherman up, destroy this guy. This fire just because it has been a nuisance. Then we don't have anything else with guard. Deploy the pack. Give us extra defense on our HQ. Walk on forward. At this point, he's going to be gaining HP. Well, he has been for a while. An 8 8 heavy armor tank. And Blitz, yeah. That's scary. I don't know if we have anything that really uh, can combat that. Additional card draw. Some more card draw. For the king, that, that is our. Uh, <laughs> that's how we combat that. Do one damage. So that's pretty pretty small comparison. Walk the three four up, just so that way it has to attack. It'll do one damage. The other trailer would do one damage. So we will be able to kill it next turn. Good. Woke Giant, there goes our 1 2. Now he's got to start thinking. He's, he's definitely going to go for a Blitz. What tank is this, by the way? The M26, yeah, it's a pretty good tank. Nice 4-4. Four, four. That's not good. <laughs> Guard, give adjacent infantry units. We do need guard, though. Pop down that infantry. Plus two defense at HQ. You meander on forward. Beef up both of these. Additional one. It's a band-aid, but it might do something nonetheless. Just have to get rid of the 8 9, we can pretty much stabilize. Though we are out of cards, so we are at a negative standpoint. Do 3 damage to all target. Another strategic bombing. That hurts. Well, we can attack that now. It's gonna hit the HQ. He should have hit the HQ. That's 12 damage. You're left with 9. One fight with guard. That'll be 4. It's gone. You have guard, so you're protecting the HQ. We need you to go ahead walk forward. The Panzer needs to stay. Let's go ahead and have guard on the other side. Use to put an enemy have plus two operating costs. That guy needs to go for sure. Four three with blitz and ambush. Deal two damage to our enemy at the enemy support line. Yeah you've whittled us. 
traded. Okay. Two two a smoke screen. Sure. Two two a smoke screen. Yeah. Plus one, plus three. Actually, need to do that. Just uh, he's not going to survive attack anyways, so but it just does an additional damage. We're out of cards. Nothing. Yep, and there goes our entire hand. So. We really don't have anything. 5-6 is not going to do anything. Thanks for the game. And that will be the game. 4, yeah, 12. He's got it. Very good opening round. Or... Game one, game two and three were a little lackluster for that. But there's always next time. See you guys in the next part.